when things started to become spotlighted, more venues opened up and more opportunities opened up for people to play. But there was never uh, a, a lack of great musical talent, and it was always really diverse, and there was always an unspoken sense of community about it. Mannequins in stores with like long johns and shorts for like 300 bucks. And, <laughs> yeah. It's like we, we got them full. We wear long johns up here because it's fucking cold. cold. When 7th Avenue decided that grunge wear was something they put on the runways and that they thought it would be an absolute knockover yes that any of my clients would be in their fashion shows and be in their fashion layouts. And when Vanity Fair did a spread with people like Joan Rivers wearing grunge wear. That was the only moment for me so far that came close to unbearable. It was our thing that also belonged to people who you, you never thought you were sharing your music with, like mainstream periodicals and fashion magazines. And you started realizing, well, there's a whole lot of people out there making money by selling the idea of the Seattle scene or grunge or whatever. It's so profitable. It's so profitable. And they'll just keep taking and taking and taking. And they, they're, they, they just don't know how to restrain themselves. You know, they're, they're frothing at the mouth over this. And the bands aren't. I mean, the bands aren't really in it for dough. I mean, they just aren't. That would, if they were, that would, that would tip over the music. It's like already it's obvious to see the Seattle scene has become a marketed commodity. But that's what makes pop culture so significant to all the little consumers out there. They have no interest in history or economics or science or art. They're kind of interested more in gossip, the nature of celebrity. And that's not at all encouraging to find out that you participate in that society one way or the other. Well, imagine you're a band, you're making music for fun because you like writing your own songs, you like playing your own songs, you like playing to your friends and having them clap and, and you know, having a good time and getting up and jumping around a stage and, you know, crashing into people. And um, suddenly every publication and all the media in the world wants to get at you. Suddenly people everywhere you go recognize you, they want your autograph. Suddenly your life as a private individual is over with. And that's probably a pretty heavy thing to deal with. What it looks like is, wow, if you want to be really successful, do heroin. But what I see is I saw people who were making really good music suddenly have like this overwhelming need for money. It's fucking heartbreaking to see how disillusioned people get to where they, that escape is so sought after.